get trouble getting in the hole. <laughs> Can't quite screw it in tight. That's it. No, that's what Exile says. <laughs> I am so glad that we are all such good friends. <laughs> we love you, bud. And to that end, I'm armed too. <laughs> Keep it doing it. Sure, probably no greater than 24 percent six day, I'm guessing, but I don't know. BGA virus. Just <laughs> He's the one doing the BGA viruses. <laughs> I, I know a lot of you don't recognize what's going on right now. This is called a terminal window. <laughs> we'll go we'll over this. We'll cover this. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, knowing that I'll probably have to dance a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and install the wireless presenter. If anybody else has one, feel free to advance the slides for me. <laughs> As you may have already figured out, I'm Zero Chaos, and I'm very well loved here in the community. <laughs> Lots of people seem to come to my talks, if for no other reason, to to give me nice toys like these cool, squishy black balls. I'm going to talk a little bit about Pentoon. It's a pen testing live CD, and some people use it. I have a good dozen of them now. Are you paid for it? Well, I got one more tonight. Pentoon was founded in 2005 by a man named Gremlin. He built it around Gen 2 Linux because that's what he used and that's what he liked. Uh, unfortunately, he used no window manager. <laughs> Better than KDE, at least. So who am I? I'm a Wi-Fi hacker, a general Gen 2 zealot. I will make fun of every other distro horrifically. We'd be happy to talk about it out in the hallway. You can all tell me why your distro sucks. Uh, I joined the Venture Project a year after it founded, 2006, right after it switched to Enlightenment 17, which is so much more pleasant. These random switches are really cool. So what do I do for Pentu? I actually do the kernel configuration, the kernel patching, the wireless backports for all the modules, the wireless tools, and the things that other people don't feel like doing, like dodging lemons. No lemons. How boring. This is a, a much easier talk than the last one I had to give. So timeline of when when did this all start? Who just heard of Pentu today? Within the last minute or so? Excellent. Good to hear it. <laughs> So if you still have no clue who we are, I should really fire my marketing department. <coughs> so here's a timeline of the general distributions that you've all probably heard of. Uh, 2005, early WAPIX came out. Then Auditor came out. We're all pretty familiar with these tools. Uh, later on, WAPIX changed from a NOPIX background to a SLAX background. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, SLAX. And then they called it WAX. Uh, afterwards, they merged together into Backtrack. And somewhere in the middle, we managed to slide out our own little release. <laughs> So uh, if anybody doesn't like my timeline, you're welcome to check Gister or Watch is where I pulled it from, but screw you guys, I was first. <laughs> okay? Seriously. Okay? But why did we do this? There's, there's an entire three-man development team behind this. Why? Why would we do this? Why would we do this for 12 users? Maybe by tonight I'll have 13. Uh, the, the original reason was there was a lack of a general pen testing distro. Auditor was great for what it was. It was a wireless tool. And, and Wax and Wapix were great for what they were, but they really didn't have everything in there. Plus, the most important reason of why we did this, because Gen 2 Linux rocks. <laughs> yeah, but you spend your time compiling, I spend my time hacking. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that, my friend, I promise you. So Gen 2 is a meta distribution founded around your choice, freedoms, packages are compiled with your own preferences. 
Why does Vim require you to install X? I don't know. I stopped running Ubuntu. No Red Hat, none of that garbage. My VI does not require X to be installed. Just one of the reasons I switch. Keeps things very up to date, and the Catalyst build system makes live CDs happy. This is why. So maybe my presenter still works. Okay? This is an example of what we do on a daily basis to goof around with. This is a Catalyst spec file. What this does is actually builds the entire live CD for us with one command. Yeah, I know, all that compiling. It does take a good 24 hours, but, I mean, I've got a wife, man. At least I can hit one button and walk away. <laughs> so you can see here, you know, it just gives it basic, the architecture, the version stamps, you know, what, what different, you know, things there are, uh, what processors we're running for. We have an x86, a 64-bit build. And then down at the bottom, we cover the use flags we're interested in, which is the, the options for the different programs. And way at the bottom, we have the different packages that we do, and obviously there's a few more than that installed these days. Each one of the packages is actually what's called an ebuild file. Ebuild file downloads automatically, patches if any patches are required, covers dependencies and runtime dependencies, and then just builds it and installs it. It's very simple, straightforward. It's almost like a shell script if you look at it because it's actually executed by bash. Okay? Very simple, straightforward, easy to write, easy to use, and it allows you to have choice. Choice like spending all your time compiling. Okay, who is this for? As an homage to my good dear friends and their excellent talk this morning, I, I wrote this up in airdrop style rules. So allow anybody to use pen to. Allow everybody to use pen to. Uh, people with no free time should probably not use pen to. Uh, criminals should not use pen to. Those of you that have not been in an IRC channel where I'm up, well, you're fortunate. Uh, people who like the cubes should not use pen to. I spent a lot of time working on things that do not involve ridiculous desktop features. Uh, the distro's focus is generally lightweight these days. Uh, my distro uses a little less than 200 megs of RAM, one idle. Uh, compare that to your favorite live CD, and we'll see how it stacks up. Uh, uptime, uh, update system, the kernel's 2.6.3.1. Wi-Fi is from 2.6.3.2 uh, RC builds, actually. Uh, it, it's newer now, but this is what's in the release. We keep the tools all very up-to-date. Uh, there's a package list that you're more than happy to download off the uh, website if you're curious to question it. Uh, best of the best tools, yes, I realize there are a thousand web app scanners out there, but do you really need to use ZebraScanner? No, I don't need to install a thousand tools to do one thing. No, you need the one that works, and that's what we filter out for you. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> I'm going to give you the pink one. <laughs> This is the end of the talk. I'm glad that we had this time to spend together. <laughs> and finally, I'd like you to know the best reason to run Pentu, because people won't make fun of you like this. Thank you. Throwing the balls in your face. So who wants to be number 13? <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, it's actually available for download right here at the con. It's at high speed. There's a server called dropbox.schmooconlabs.net. If you're really interested, you can check it out. You can download Pentium. Backtrack's there, too. Uncle Miles, he's been complaining. He knows he's downloaded it yet. I'll download it. Oh, yeah, thanks. So we can't get it from Pentium. we got to go download it. Pretty much. Okay.